It has been kind of a sore spot for quite some time. Yeah. And as you know, each community that you talked about, Sergeant Brooks, Claire, and Dab before, they all have a different, different tax base. And that is how the money is allocated. Now, I don't have a problem with that, but what I would like to see happen is the usage of those tax base dollars. Now, here's what we have to do on a local level. We will have to change some of the language with the Department of Education on how much dollars can be used. And we're talking about equalization. Yeah. And so if we change that language, this will allow um, school districts to use more dollars in the school system. Now, will that solve everything? Absolutely not. But we've been an archaic system for a number of years yeah. that does not allow us to use those dollars. So that's part of the thing that we've got to do. So I see going back to the legislature this year and actually tackling that issue Good. and making sure that we get that done. It's, it's actually a simple process. It's just basically changing the language and it could be one or two sentences and then we should get that done. And so I see that being a, a, a big deal. So I, I'm looking forward to that. That'll help solve that issue that you're talking about. Because I think, especially in the light of COVID, uh -huh. and, and we can see the handling of sure. um, the education, you know, mm -hmm. um, are we going hybrid or, you know, what are we doing? How are we doing it? And it's just so much confusion. And, you know, you got to give, you got to give props to the, you know, the school board. So, yeah. you know, sure. they, they did every, everybody scrambled as much as they could. And Absolutely. given whatever was sure coming down the pike, you know. But I see other states that were able to, you know, adapt pretty, pretty quickly, and they're a lot larger than our state was, you know. Is. Right, so right, it just, right. it just, it was discouraging to me. So, and I, I don't think we'll go back to how, you know, I, because of COVID, and we're going to be in this for quite a while. I think because of COVID, we will see us doing things much different than what we did before, and not because um, if things were bad, but because we've got to be ready now. This pandemic has taught us we have got to be ready and, and do a much better job. So I think we'll see something different. Okay. For you, Teresa, I have a question for you as well. So the, I, I'm not sure, I don't, I don't think so, that a bill has been uh, uh, moved forward in terms of the budget for um, um, government employees. Was it the, um, oh, what is it? Um, the unemployment thing? No, it's a, a budget being passed. I mean, I think we're... Um, what am I thinking? Somebody help. <laughs> <laughs> They're in a continuing resolution right now, so I think yeah. they just haven't passed a full budget yet. You talking about that one? Yeah. For the for um, what's the concern? Or the the question? So, the so no, that's great. The, the question is, is that um, is more around a budget being um, agreed upon so that we don't have to furlough government employees. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the COVID this, issue, you know, the funding for the COVID. Well, before even the COVID, but you know, they had the government shutdown. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if somebody could help me. Well, I don't know that, what you meant or not. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, when you talk to uh, our congressional leaders, you know, when they started and were sworn in in January 2019, they came in to a, a, a shutdown. I think it was very, very difficult. I think that gets back to your uh, working across the aisle. Yeah. With anybody. Yeah. Recognizing that you're representing all Iowans everyone across the country when they're making those decisions. Um, that's for sure, that's for sure. Um, so, yeah.